Hey, yeah, what's up? This is Cyber Marshall of Courage. Rain back up in this anti-Illuminati all day, anti-telepathy all day, anti-America all day, and everybody with him. So, this this uh, this video is going to be about 1 John 4.20 that talks about a man that say he loved God and hated his brother is a liar. And, you know, how can he say that he loved God but hate his brother. So I'm just going to, I'm going to get right into the scripture. First John 4 20, and it reads, if a man say, I love God and hated his brother, he is a liar. For he that loveth not his brother whom he hath seen, how can he have, how can he love God whom he hath not seen? So I'm going to read that again. 1 John 4, 20. If a man say, I love God and hateth his brother, he is a liar. For he hath, for he that loveth not his brother whom he hath seen, how can he love God whom he hath not seen? Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to be going through a lot of scriptures that um, will dismantle the behavioral club in America in Christianity. It's a behavioral club. A lot of these ministries are. I'm not saying all or not. I'm not saying not have the fruit of the spirit. I'm not saying love people. I'm not saying love individuals. What I'm saying is it is a it, it most of it it is taught with without the full spectrum of the Bible. Christianity is not a be on your best behavior club. I'm going to say that again. Christianity is not be on your uh, not be on your best behavior club. Okay? You see there are times where we have to literally go to war and you haven't seen it in this country because times haven't been that evil. But in other countries, Christians surf, suffer persecution. They die. Muslims kill them. And, 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 you know, they go through a lot of persecution. And what are you going to tell those people? They have to go to war. Moses had to go to war. He couldn't say, oh, we just going we just going to love on Pharaoh. David couldn't say, oh, we just going to love on Absalom. This is the Bible. This is the, this is not this is not this is not the fairy tale part. This is real actions. This shows you people that actually lived out that lit that was service of God and how they had to go to war. They couldn't act like they was part of a behavioral club. Christians, uh, David couldn't act like he was a part of a behavioral club when Absalom was pursuing him. Moses couldn't act like he was in a behavioral club with the Israelites when Pharaoh was pursuing them. That's what I'm saying. And that's what you guys got to realize. So, I'm going to go over this scripture one more time. 1 for John 4.20 and it reads, if a man say, I love God and hated his brother, he is a liar. For he that loveth not his brother whom he hath seen, how can he love God whom he hath not seen? Okay. I'm, I'm, I, I got to say this for the, for, for, for the behavior club of Christianity. Because they like, because they, 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 a lot of them pride themselves on being their, in their best behavior, in their perfect behavior. And it's really, it, it, and they're really not in the spiritual war. They're really not engaging in the real war out here in America. Because on the battlefield, it's a whole different situation. Okay? And this how I can love God who I do not see because God is love. He's perfect. 
It's easy to love God. That's how I can love God and, and who I do have not seen because his love is real. His, he's a pure being. He is a great being. He is magnificent. He is glorious. He is the greatest. He is the almighty. This is how I can love God who I have not seen and have a problem with someone who is a wicked, hateful, nasty person. It's easy. In other words, it's easy to love God and it's easy to hate human beings. Am I right or wrong? It's easy to love God and it's easy to have conflicts and hate human beings and be at war with human beings. This is for the this is for people who act like they don't understand it. This is what I'm saying. Because they act like they, they, they're part of this behavioral club and they say, well, you, you don't love your brother, then you you then you you ain't you a liar, you ain't with God. It's easy to love God. It's easy to love God. God is love. So how is it easy to love him? It's easy to love God. But I'm going to read the scripture now that you heard what I said. It's easy to love God and it's easy to have problems with human beings. Now I'm going to read that scripture to you over again. 1 John 4.20. I'm not saying it's incorrect. I'm showing you the full spectrum. 1 John 4.20. If a man say, I love God and hateth his brother, he is a liar. For he had that loveth not his brother whom he hath seen, how can he love God whom he hath not seen? The brother you see is causing you problems. The brother you see is, is bringing wars and conflicts like an Absalom character. The brother you see is becoming a Judas. The brother you see is like a Cain. But the God... God that is in heaven, the God, our God Almighty, he is love. He is blessing me. He is helping me. So it's easy to love him and, and have problems with people that I do see. But it's still easy to love him, even though I do not clearly see him visibly. That's very easy. Because God is love, God is everything, you know, beautiful. Now, I'm going to give you another scripture. Now, because it, it says right here that, okay, I'm going to read it again. 1 John 4, 20, if a man say that I love God and hated his brother, he is a liar. For he that loveth not his brother whom he hath seen, how can he love God whom he hath not seen? Matthew 5, 8. Matthew 5, 8 says, blessed are the pure in heart. For they shall see God. Matthew 5, 8. Blessed are the pure in heart. For they shall see God. God doesn't play games. The word of God doesn't play games. This ain't no, this ain't no leprechaun situation. It says, blessed are, Matthew 5, 8 says, blessed are the pure in heart. For they shall see God. But then you see 1 John 4.20 says, How can he love God whom he hath not seen? 1 John 4.20 says, How can you love God whom you have not seen? But Matthew 5.8 says, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. So, those who see God... The scripture says, how can you love your brother who you do not see? How can you love your how can you love God who you do not see, but love God, but the but doesn't do not love your brother who you do see? But the uh, but Matthew 5 8 said we do the pure in heart shall see God. So there are individuals who can see God and see their brother. The pure in heart. The pure in heart basically will perceive will have will perceive God the pure in heart will be able 
to draw close to God and, and, and experience him and perceive him. And that's what makes it easy to love him once you perceive him. Once you experience him in his presence, when you're, when you're pure in heart. You got to remember, God hates things too. You got to remember, God is, is, is going to destroy this, cunt, this world in judgment. That means humanity is going to die at the hand of God. Okay, that's a part of this. This is another part of the spectrum that the behavioral club don't want to talk about. The behavioral club don't want to talk about how God is going to tear this whole world up. They don't want to talk about that part. They don't want to talk about it. But it still is real in part of what is going to happen. And in, in the essence of that, is the substance of that is 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 is, is the, the, the judgments and everything. That is out. That is in, 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 in the universe, in the spiritual realm. The judgments are going to come and destroy the world. So I'm saying that the judgments of God, the judgments of God that's going to tear up the world, it exists in the spiritual world. Okay? Because it's people that try to fight your Christianity. If they can't beat you, if they know they can't beat you and they see God beating them, then they want to try to t beat your Christianity and try to use other Christians to defeat your Christianity. You can't beat my Christianity. I've been had a relationship with God. I had a relationship, with, a real relationship with God since 1999. You can't take my relationship. I don't care nothing about what you think about it. I don't care what your perception. That's Christ, That's That's the top. I don't care, a preachers or not. I don't care who it is. I got my own relationship with God. Yeah. But I'm showing you how in this scripture it says you can, you can, it says, how can a person see their brother and, and, and they say it and, it's, it, and, and hate him, but love God who they do not see? But the scripture shows us that we, the pure in heart, shall see God. This is what we see. And I'm showing you how it's easy to despise the wicked, to go to war with the wicked. Because let me show you something. Let me tell you something. The difference between me and other people is I'm at war. OK. War is a whole different situation. You're not looking for people to show you fruit when they're at war with people. Tribes go to war in the real world. You can't play me. You behavior club people can't pay, play me. If you are in war and maybe you haven't experienced that in your life because you are an American. You don't have real people following and being relentless to destroy your life. So it's easy for you to preach love and cupcakes when other Christians here are going through real war with witches and warlocks that need to be destroyed. And they have to be destroyed because of their relentless nature. They want to be relentless. They die. The Bible says, suffer not a witch to live. That's for the behavior club too. The Bible says, suffer not a witch to live. So where's the love part in that part? Where you, where you supposed to be loving them when God says, Come, suffer not a witch to live? This is what I'm talking about. That's a perfect example of what I'm talking about. While you sitting up a part of the behavior club, God says, suffer not a wish to live. While you are part of the behavior club, God says it's better that the that those who offend one of these little ones take a, a chain and a milestone and put it around their neck and cast themselves to the bottom of the sea. 
Jesus Christ said it's better that they kill themselves than offend one of his little ones, which are us, the, be the people of God, the body of Christ. Jesus Christ says it's better that they kill themselves. Is this the leprechaun part of the Bible or is it do we take it and make it real? Is it 100? What, what Jesus said, was it 100 or not? He said it's better that they kill themselves. This is the this is and people say be like Jesus. That's like Jesus. Jesus said it's better that those who offend one of them little ones it's better that they kill themselves in essence. He says better they take a stone, a, a, a chain, a milestone, and basically in essence take a chain and a rock and throw themselves into the bottom of the sea. He was descriptive about it. What they should actually do, the description of their suicide of what they should do for playing with God's people. While you're sitting up talking about loving them, when they offending God's people, Jesus Christ is talking about they should be killing themselves. That's for the behavior club in America. This is a Christian behavior club. While you sitting up talking about, oh, 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 you love, Jesus said it's better that they kill themselves than offend one of my little ones while you sitting up talking about loving them and if they if, if you don't love them you don't love God and you a liar Jesus says better they kill themselves just for offending his people that's the real Bible all you people act like you preaching all the Bible you ain't preaching all the Bible you have been controlled by the government for what you can say and not say yes you have culturally speaking Culturally speaking in America, you are not you are controlled to not preach the full Bible where Jesus said it's better that they kill themselves than offend Christians. He ain't talk about nothing about loving on them and trying to win them to God. He said they should kill themselves. It's better that they be dead, in other words. That ain't preaching no hate. That's order. Just like you have order on the streets, you have the law, you have justice, that's order. That ain't hate. I'm tired of people talking about, oh, religion is hate. Why? Because you're getting what you deserve? Because there's an order? Because God requires order? It's hate? Because God brings judgment just like the police in the courts? It's hate? You don't tell the police you don't tell the courts when they when they judge some crazy person that that's hate. That's order. That's order. And it's a certain way the the humanity has to move, even in the in, even outside of religion, if that's what you want to call it. There's order in humanity. Ain't nobody running wild like animals. You got order. You go out here and try to do anything you want to do and see what happens. You see how far that gets you. Trying to go out here and just say, oh, well, you know, I'm just going to do this and do that. Order in the, in, the humanity, in order in the humanity is going to have you locked up downtown. There's order. So while you're saying hate, it's order. While you're saying hate, is justice. God's justice comes in the form of his judgments. The justice that he has for his people comes in the form of judgment on the enemy. Yeah, what you expect us to do? Fly around and die? Fly around like butterflies and, and the fire just burns us up and you get to do what you want to do? No, you don't get to do what you want to do. Jesus said when you play, when you offend us, it's better that you kill yourself. I'm telling you what Jesus said. I don't care what your favorite preacher said. I'm telling you what Jesus Christ said. He said it's better that they die. Jesus, the one that embraced children, the one that healed the sick, raised the dead, he said it's better that they die. 
I got to get all this behavioral cult club that's in America out your system. Because you'll be sitting around and having nothing to, and because of your lack of faith and you don't and you don't and, 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 and God, the word of God says God's people are destroyed from a lack of knowledge. Because you don't know this in the where in the way of how God and Jesus Christ feels, you'll be sitting around destroyed by the wicked and the enemy. God ain't playing no games with them. And God ain't gonna be playing no games in the future. They about to get wrapped up and tossed out. It ain't time, it ain't, the Bible says it's a time to love and it's a time to hate. Y'all think that's a leprechaun part. Oh, well, what does that mean? It means it's a time to hate. That's what it means. You trying to make it something else. You trying to make it like a cupcake. You trying to season it down like your chicken. And it ain't no seasoning down. You can't season it like your chicken. It says it's a time to love, it's a time to hate, it's a time of peace, and it's a time of war, and you can't season that like your fish. I'm sorry. You can't do it. It's not going to work. Okay? So while you're looking at Christians, these enemies, these people expecting us to be on our best behavior, and if you show any signs of you, Raising your voice or anything. Oh, that's a demon person. Jesus Christ cleaned up the whole, the house of God came in tearing up everything. Came in cracking a whip on people. He didn't just say, gee, you know, could you get out of my father's house? He says, my, house, my father's house will be a house of prayer. You made Jesus this, this, this feminine character that he is not. That just takes everything from everybody. Nah, that ain't how that works. That ain't how that works. But these American Christians are controlled by the government. They sitting back talking about just acting like, oh, oh, just love on everybody. Just love everybody. Let's just bake them cook cake, cookies and cupcakes and it'll get better. Them snakes will sit up there and eat your cookies and cupcakes and eat you too. And you sitting up there talking about you doing the work for the Lord and you loving on people, bringing people to God. But it should, I'm, like I said, you know, these are the reasons why you can love God full of love, doing nothing to you, but giving you order and keeping you from harm, this is how you can love him who you do not physically see and how you can be at war with people that you do see. You ain't a liar in that situation because the truth is you can love them, you can love God and it's hard to hate, them. love them. That's the truth. So how are you a liar when you're going with the truth? <laughs> the truth is God is full of love and they full of hate. That's the truth. So how are you a liar when you love God and you have problems with them and you are at war with them? Because like I said, it's a difference between going to war with these same individuals, your brother per se, is it, when you're going to war, that's a whole different situation. And what these Christians would do is say that you're hating them when you're actually at war with them. You're not, a, you're not in a hate situation. You're in a war as a soldier to defeat the relentless enemy. That's not hate. That's not hate. You're neutralizing targets. So that's why you have to differentiate your situation because you may be at war with witches and warlocks in the present day America and they telling you, oh, well, you, you, you hate your brother. You hate your fellow man. No, I'm at war with these people. And you are not familiar with that. You're not familiar with the difference of war with human beings and a person that has hate in their heart. But I showed you also in the scripture how in Ecclesiastes, it talks about a time to hate and a time to love. So who is it a time to hate? 
if it's a time to love, you're not giving this to non-entities. You're giving love to human beings. You're not giving love to, to objects. So if it says it's a time to love, that means it's being dis it's given to the humans. If it says it's a time to hate, that means it's being given to humans. What has been given to a dog? Is it time to love a dog, time to hate a dog? So the scripture is showing us it's a time to hate individuals. Why are they trying to put you in a behavioral club? Because that's what the government has done to them. It ain't nothing but a trickle down perspective from the government to control you so you don't rise up against the evil powers that be. Because when you start to see that the government, your brother, big brother, is, is a wicked enemy, you have to go to war and they don't want you to do that. So they want you to be in this mindset, oh, just love the devil, just love the snake. Just love the people that's infused with these demonic individual in, in entities. These, these people that are demonically possessed, you're supposed to love on them. And they're relentless. They're relentless towards you. They only telling you this is a trickle down of the government perspective in Christianity. Jesus said, like I said, people that's offending his people, you know where you can go. Because <laughs> when you kill yourself, where you think you're going? You ain't going to heaven with God and you just offended his people. So for people who offend God's people, you know where you can go. Jesus said, made it clear. 